Hey fans, welcome to another edition of Brazil Bound here on MLSsoccer.com. I'm your host Jason Seguini and it is now May, a huge month for World Cup hopefuls and fans alike. It will see both the 30-man camp rosters as well as the final World Cup rosters announced. And it will also see a revamped Brazil Bound starting next week where we welcome former U.S. national team assistant and longtime MLS great Jesse Marsh to our team. While we're looking forward to all of that, I thought the beginning of the month would be a great time to take stock of what things are looking like for the MLS players hoping to make that U.S. camp in two weeks. We've seen Greg give his case for Wando. We've discussed Dempsey's fit in the current system. And last week, the guys questioned how much of a sure bet Landon Donovan is when it comes to making that final 23. Today, get out your geometry books. I'm using a matrix to sum up where everything stands as we start this ever important month in U.S. soccer. Again, this is for MLS-based players only. For more on the full competitions at each position, don't forget to check out Matt Doyle's roster battle series here on MLS soccer. The two axes in this matrix are the player's current form along the horizontal line and my confidence that they will be in that final 23-man roster along the vertical axis. You can see at the top right, there are plenty of no-doubters. Dempsey, Bradley, Zuzi, the central pairing of Gonzalez and Beisler, they are all playing well enough to keep me from having any doubts that they will be on that plane to Brazil. And I'll disagree with Andrew and Simon, who said last week that Donovan's spot could be in jeopardy. I think there's little debate here. He's going to Brazil even on only one and a half knees. Where it gets interesting are these two quadrants here. Eddie Johnson had a great assist last week, but he's yet to score a goal this season. While his form is not where you want it, his skill set is not exactly going to be replicated by another guy in this pool. He's got speed to burn, and he has an understanding of what Klinsman wants from his experience with the team over the last few years. Another guy competing for that forward pool, of course, is Chris Wondolowski. He's done the job in his limited chances with the U.S. team, but if he's not on a roll in MLS, does he have that longer leash that EJ or Josie Altidore have? I'm not so confident. I am 100% confident, though, that he will make the camp, even if the U.S. only call in 27 or 28 guys. But his seat on the plane to Brazil still needs to be earned over the course of the next month. There's plenty of debate on this topic on the site. You can check the description below for links to other content. Two guys that have had injuries slow their campaign, so they're just getting back into form, are Brad Davis and Brad Evans. Weirdly, I have more faith in Evans making the final roster despite the longer layoff, and of course, the fact that he doesn't play right back for his club team. You can see that I have DeAndre Yedlin on here as well as a reciprocal player when it comes to Evans' chances of going to Brazil. I have Evans at about a 60% chance, Yedlin at about 40. Yedlin is closing the gap from where they were early, earlier in the year, but I do think it's one or the other here. As for Davis, he's a known commodity, but far from a front runner. He'll be in competition for one of the final spots on the roster, but he certainly could help his cause by lighting it up in May for the Dynamo. And then there's Maurice Adu, speaking of midfielders. He played a huge role on the World Cup team in 2010, and his return to MLS has certainly boosted his chances of making the team. He also has that versatility where he could potentially play as a center back. But is there enough time for him to supplant the current central mids in the mix? I just don't think so. That's my take on where things stand, headed into the final two weeks of play before the camp roster is announced. What do you think? Are there MLSers I missed that you think have a shot at this camp? Do you have more or less confidence in some of these guys earning a ticket to Brazil? Let me know in the comments section below. And of course, check the description for links to other Brazil-bound episodes that I mentioned earlier.